What is up YouTube? I am very excited here today to show you my Mighty Ducks of Anaheim Wild Wing alternate jersey with Gihei Bear on it. This is actually the first jersey I've ever seen with Gihei Bear on it. Um, hopefully it would be cool to say that I'm the only one that owns it, but I'm, I'm sure there's a couple out there. But typically, you know, with Wild Wings all you see is uh, Solani or Korea because those are the big names. And so, but uh, here it is. 30, 31, that was his number. If you don't know who Gihei Bear was, he was the original goalie for the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. Actually, even went to the extreme to blow up a poster of him with uh, the letters, the Mistral font letters as well. If you look, those actually, I just taped those on, make it look, make it look a little nice. You can see kind of the depth of the letters there. But yeah, that's the only picture I've ever seen of Gihei Bear with this jersey. It's the only one I could ever find. I sat there, I, I looked for like an hour on Google trying to find stuff. Uh, if anybody has a picture of him in the jersey, though, let me know. Uh, it was really hard to. I had um, I had a couple people help me out of how to get the customization right because you can't even you can't see the back of the jersey. And if you know, uh, I'll actually I'll just explain it to you once we get to the back of the jersey. But um, here's the front of it. Like I said, 31, nothing special, you know, just same thing. But uh, that's the jersey, one of my favorite jerseys of all time, next to the. Storm one up there that I have. That one is another good one. That's Cicerelli if you've seen my other videos. But um, it took me a while to get this done because I had to save up the money for it because at the time I didn't have a job. So it was kind of hard. I had to trade away a couple jerseys. Uh, if you look at my last videos, uh, this Capitals jersey that's supposed to go in that little space there. But that's that's honestly still been packaged there. Uh, it has been stuck there for about two months. I had it on eBay for like 25 bucks. Nobody bought it. But um, Avalanche jersey went there, sold that. That's a new one I got from my friend. It's the uh, Oilers Cog jersey. And then, if you remember, a couple jerseys went there. I had the purple Mighty Ducks Coho jersey, sold it. And then my original Mighty Ducks jersey I had, size large, sold that one as well. So now, here we are. But I finally got a new job, though, so I should have some more jerseys coming in soon. I actually have one on the way. You'll see what it is once I get it. I can't wait. It's going to be sweet. I can't wait to customize that one as well. Um, but anyway, yeah, here it is. Uh, we'll get to the back side here. One sec. You know, see, I was very worried about the customization, actually, because I did get the numbers from somebody. I mean, not the numbers. Uh, I got the numbers customized on there, but then I had to get the letters separate. And it was very scary because, um, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't available to get it, like, uh, professionally done. I had to take it to some random tailor. And uh, nobody knows what that uh, what the name actually looks like um, on the back because uh, that's the only picture you could ever find of Hey Bear wearing the jersey. Uh, the only the only help we got was I had a couple friends help me. Uh, actually, it was one of my friends tried to help, but we can we didn't really have that much luck. And then they had a guy from uh, Ice Jerseys, the form. I don't know if you guys any of you guys are on it, but um, he helped me out. He uh, he had a picture old game footage of them wearing the wild wing and hey bear was turned around for a split second so that was that was all we got to go off of but um here's the name and number 31 big 31 and uh it's actually glacier twill i'm not sure if you guys know what that is let me get a close up on it uh, if i can this damn camera would focus uh if you look it's got like little zigzags in it that is what glacier twill is um the Pittsburgh Penguins currently use it. I'm not sure if they're going to use it. They're supposed to be coming out with a new third jersey with the old gold on it. But uh, that's the name. Hey Bear. Uh, even though it's spelled like Hebert. Uh, used the French-Canadian version of it. Is what, that's how Guy went, even though he was an American. But um, the name is really unique on these jerseys. Every single one is different. Almost. Because uh, the numbers, it's not a typical arch like you have. It's that the numbers are cut with the arch. So it's just like, see how the, it like kind of goes with it a little bit on each number. I mean, a letter, sorry about that. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, was kind of difficult. I was really worried about how it was going to turn out because I had to take it to some random tailor. And uh, she didn't speak much English, which was very, very, very concerning. But uh, it turned out pretty decent. Uh, the only thing is the T right here is a little bit spaced out, but uh, it's not a big deal. Um... I really don't think I'm ever going to sell this jersey. Uh, I really just, it'd be cool to say, you know, I have the only hay bear. I'm not sure if I do or not, but, you know, it'd still be cool to say I'm one of the few 
that do have it. Uh, let's see, you get the glacier twill up there on the letters as well. There you go. Oh, that's a really good shot of it. Um, yeah, the glacier twill. Uh, let's see, what else about this jersey? Oh, uh, you might have seen it in my last video. Uh, that was my jersey update video. But it was I was talking about how they're currently making like fake, uh, there's it's you know, replica, like authentic replicas or whatever the hell China wants to call them, of these Wild Wing jerseys, and um, props for the people that do actually mention that on like eBay sellings that say like this is authentic replica and they like to capitalize replica to emphasize that it's not completely true authentic because you know to have the fight strap and then and just say CCM vintage next to it, a vintage. CCM never made a vintage jersey of this. It was only used in like six games, I believe. So it's just fucking stupid that, you know, they try to make these jerseys now because people think. And it's the, the amount of money the fucking replicas go for, too, man. I've seen them go for like two, 250 It's like stupid. Like, why? Why the fuck would you pay for that? That's ridiculous. And it's all fake. Like, they, use, they don't even use the right material. The material, this is, this is how the old CCM material was, right? But then. You you look at the jerseys like the the authentic replicas and so actually this one thing about this though the camera's making this look really like bright faded purple but it's actually really dark purple for some reason I don't know maybe it's just the lighting from the fan but um uh, let's see what else yeah the the material this is regular nice fine CCM material and then the replicas they get material like up here on my replica uh, premier jersey the materials like that and it's just it fucking blows my mind when people just blow money like 200 something dollars on it which you could honestly if you waited out you could probably fucking find one of these for 200 dollars and it'd be an actual fucking genuine wild wing jersey and the quality just looks like fucking shit man this whole stripe right here the uh this is where the you know the glacier i mean the ice is where wild wings breaking out of the front that goes up to about like here Something like that, and then the numbers are that stupid Chinese stitching that you see, and then the letters are just really like poorly cut. And then another thing about it is, let me move that back over here, is that uh, the Wild Wing will be fucking, he'll be actually be stitched into the goddamn jersey for some odd reason, and it's just like I feel like that's just way too much stitching, and it's all that stupid stitching material that they use too, that same like patch material. As well as this would come up in Wild Wing, because it's so f the 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 white uh, the ice is so far up it comes up to like here. Wild Wing only be like about maybe like that size and then maybe half more like a hand and a half, basically. So it's just I don't it just blows my mind with fucking people blow money on it, man. It's just like I can understand maybe a hundred dollars at the most. I could, I mean I understand. It's not a fucking cheap jersey and all, but still, holy shit, man. Oh, <laughs> when I saw it, I was, I first saw one, I was just like, oh, okay, fake Wild Wing, I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of stupid. And I just saw it, it, just fucking bids on bids on bids, I was like, oh my god, man, this is crazy. But, um, anyway, yeah, my camera, the, the camera, I mean, not the camera, the lighting is making it kind of funny, like I said, that's all still dark purple as well. But, uh, I'll maybe see if I can edit the video at all. Um, this is one of my favorite jerseys, man. A lot of people don't like it, or they thought it was, like, ugly at the time, which, of course, I was born the year these jerseys actually came out, and I happened to find them later, because obviously I was too little to even remotely start thinking about jerseys, but, uh, I, I don't know, it's just, I like uniqueness, I like the crazy style that the 90s had, you know, like the Islanders, Fishermen, or the Coyotes, Desert Landscape, and all that, and the you know, what that too, that's, that's, I understand why people don't like that, that's got a lot going on, lightning, waves, and rain, but I think those look awesome, and I like the font on them, but, um, like I said, man, I just like these jerseys, and just be, just be aware of the fakes out there, if you have any questions, let me know, and if you want to go ahead and spend $250 on a fake, be my guest, no problem with that, I mean, it's just, it just seems kind of funny to me, because you could probably get the real thing for, probably about that, if you find the right, uh, find the right seller, and, uh, like I said, it just made me, it also made me really happy that, you know, I got Gee Bear on the back of it. Flip that, flip back one more time. It just made me really happy. This is so cool, and it's just, I, I'm a huge Mighty Ducks fan, or Anaheim, I'm still an Anaheim Ducks fan. I was actually really happy we switched over to the new, uh, we're using a third jersey 
as our current home jersey and that we made a white away version of it. So I'm really happy we switched to that. But like I said, one of my favorite jerseys. Really happy to have Hebert on. If you have any questions on anything about the jersey, anything in jerseys in general, just ask me. Um, like I said, thank you so much for watching. It's one of my favorite jerseys. So happy I finally got it done. Uh, couldn't couldn't be happier, honestly. Mm, anything else? I think that's about it. So uh, I'm actually gonna make a video here right after this one about all my my whole hockey collection because I got quite a bit, and somebody asked me to make more videos. So I figured that put that in there. So uh, thanks for watching YouTube. Hope you have a great day and uh, good luck trying to find one of these jerseys, any Wild Wing jersey for that matter. Good luck. Hope you get one. They're awesome.